Do you notice anything off in this animated video of a cooking grandmother? Notice the magic spoon that just randomly appears and then randomly disappears. Flaws like that can help viewers spot AI-generated videos from OpenAI. Its new text-to-video tool, Sora, created all of these clips, from scenic landscapes to bedazzled zoo animals, without a major production studio or team of animators. When you think about some of the most recent Pixar movies, when you think about the amount of energy that they go into to literally build every detail so that their hair moves in the right way and things, this stuff now is a computer doing without a single person. Users will be able to type in a prompt and their words are brought to life, like this. But such innovation has raised concerns about the spread of misinformation. So being able to detect AI in video has become even more important. We'll share some tips on how to spot AI videos and look at how this technology could be abused. The funny thing about this, if you really watch the runner, aside from the fact they're going backwards and moving in multiple directions, um, if you watch how they're running, you'll see that their physical body is not matching the way a runner would run, right? In other words, you'll see their arms doing a double take, and that means their balance wouldn't work and they wouldn't be able to function. These are things that the AI still doesn't understand about the physical world. That's Stephen Messer, the co-founder of an AI sales company called Collective Eye. He's worked in the AI industry for more than a decade, and now he's going to help show us how to spot AI-generated videos. Let's consider this clip of a cat waking up its owner. Now, you look at this cat video, it's, it's pretty amazing. One, really cute cat. But you probably notice that some of the physics, again, are off, right? Where the user switches over and flips over. The way the, the sheet flips over is a little bit weird. But if you look really closely and if you use your skill, you probably are noticing something's a little bit weird about the cat. There's two paws already out, and from the middle of the cat, a third paw magically appears. These are examples of some of the places where things just are a little bit off. Again, always coming down to physics of the real world. And when the platform simulates people, sometimes things may not feel quite right, like with the cooking grandmother from earlier. So our senses are amazing at spotting weird things. Things that just don't feel right. If you look at the hands and the way our movements work, you'll notice that that is not how humans uh, move their fingers or their body. And then we have hyper-realistic landscape shots, like this one. At first glance, this might look like drone footage of the Amalfi Coast. Look at the waves. The waves are going out as opposed to in. Again, a physics problem that exists. And that's not all. The same thing with the stairwell. Look, you can see stairwells that sort of lead to nothing, stairwells that are all over the place. Because it was asked for, it's just throwing stairwells, not in a way that physics would demand um, for us to actually use them. Um, and so it's probably found in lots of videos, different staircases, and it shoved them into the video. Sora can simulate historical footage too, down to the grainy texture of an old film camera. But when you look closer, you're going to start to notice that there are houses of all different generations um, that are there. I would also point out that if you notice, um, in every Western video you've ever seen, um, they don't have streets where one horse goes one direction and horses then come the other direction, which is what you'll see here as if it's like a modern road. And here, sadly, one of the horses melts into the ground mid-shot. OpenAI acknowledges the tool has some spatial issues, like in this scene set in Tokyo. If you watch the cars going in the opposite direction, when they go through the trees, they disappear. Animated scenes can make it more difficult to tell if a video was created by AI. Look, animations, you don't expect to be perfect. In fact, part of the fun sometimes is that they do things that are physically impossible to do. Here, the AI tool masters 3D geometry, but there are still a few things that feel off. His eyes do not reflect the people in front of them, which is actually something you would expect um, uh, to see. Fingers move in strange ways, but again, these are characters. Wile E. Coyote runs into, you know, uh, a wall and runs through uh, a truck. So these are probably the areas where you're going to see a lot of usage in the beginning. In another clip of a paper coral reef, the generative AI shows more of a flair for storytelling and world building. Here, what you're seeing is the level of creativity that humanity can have when working with tools like this. You can come up with almost any idea that nobody would have ever thought of before and have such a high quality rendering. I could see this being a movie that nobody ever thought about before. Sora learned to create these types of animated characters from the data it was trained on. In this case, licensed and open source video material. But right now, a number of lawsuits against OpenAI hinge on the question of whether publicly available copyrighted content is fair game for AI training. I think mostly what you see is, is a content creative world 
seeing a new entity rise up, similar to the way Google did early on, where they're making money off the backs of other people's work. And I think that's naturally going to lead itself to lawsuits. Even though Sora hasn't been publicly released yet, some industry experts are already concerned about its potential for misuse. Tools like this will be used for powerful misinformation. There are bad actors that will look to seek to take advantage of the fact that a lot of people cannot spot these differences. OpenAI says it's taking actions to get ready for the 2024 presidential election, including prohibiting the use of its platforms for political campaigning. It's also developing tools that can tell when a video was generated by Sora. There are privacy concerns, too. If it's been trained on video from the internet, that means a lot of people who've been in videos on the internet, whether you uploaded your family holiday, etc., could, in theory, be used uh, as these things progress. But when it comes to actual filmmaking, experts say it will be a long time before text-to-video threatens the medium. Right now, the platform can only create clips that are up to a minute long. Because the AI model won't respond to similar prompts in the exact same way, you couldn't combine 60 different one-minute AI clips into a coherent movie. So all of these models tend to what they call hallucinate. They sort of go off the beaten path. So the longer the video is, the more likely it is to fall apart. But the tool could still transform other short-form content creator platforms. If you're someone who's up and coming, and you think to yourself, I don't have the cash, I can't get the skill, I don't have these people. This becomes unbelievably democratizing to the world and their ability to bring things to market. And video creators have something else to get excited about. OpenAI says Sora is also able to generate videos from a single image. This would seemingly allow people to draw what's on their mind and animate it to life. So when you think about that, you realize we're still at the very early stages of pretty powerful changes in the way videos are created.